Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. And now I welcome you all in this Eucharistic celebration. So, though you are outside, we are outside once again. So let us pray in this Holy Eucharist that whatever is the situation right now, we'll pray that uh, one day we'll go back to normal. And in this Eucharist, we will offer everything to the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us all acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done, in what I've failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly, to bring your divine work to fruitful completion. They may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us offer this Mass for the souls of Donald M. Quintana, Maria Guadalupe Ramos, Luz, Ernest, and Cynthia Munson, Mary Ann Ramos, deceased members of the Talilao Balaldia family, for all souls, for the souls of Marcelina Tabalno Bumacod and Antonio El Mondano. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand, who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven, like the sound of rushing water or a loud peal of thunder, the sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the 144,000 who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, Lord this, this is, is the, the people, people that, that longs to see your face. face. 
who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, these are the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury. And did notice a poor widow putting into two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise My dear brothers and sisters, today's Gospel reading presents to us a woman of exceeding generosity. In one donation, she gave all she owed to the temple treasury. We heard in today's gospel, putting in two small coins. And that's all that she has. But she put everything in the treasury, to the temple treasury. And through her donation, although her donation was quantitatively small in a relative value. It's a small, two coins, two small coins. But Jesus assured his disciples that her gift, that the gift of this woman, exceeded the gifts of all the other donors. So the gospel tells us what the generosity to God through the poor widow is all about. You know, it is not the small amount or it is not the amount that matters. Not how big the amount we can give per se. For we may only be giving from our surpluses. But how much love, how much love there is in risking to give Everything you live. This is how the way we give. How much love when we give? Even if it's big or small. And so Jesus favored the generosity of the poor widow for the simple reason that it came from the heart. And that is the important. When you give, it must come from our hearts. And there is no string attached in her giving, this woman. It did not come from her excess money. But she gave whatever little amount she had. So this gospel invites us to examine ourselves. Examine ourselves. Not only when we give to our church, when you give to St. Bernard's, maybe your monthly share to St. Bernard's, but it also invites us to reflect our motive of giving 
when we give to the poor or to anyone who is in need for that matter. So the ideal giving is to give from the heart. That is the ideal giving. The amount of what you give is immaterial. What is important is to originate. Originates from our heart and not from our head. It was not only the poor widow who gave. But you know, in today's gospel, some also of the wealthy people, they also gave. However, Jesus is more pleased with the giving of the poor widow because her giving is pure. Her giving is untainted by any form of ulterior motive. You know, as we see, this generous woman or this woman has a generous faith. What makes one generous is faith. That when, when you empty yourself by giving out something so precious to you, you give more space to God to pour it something, though it may not be as precious as the one you have given up, yet more meaningful and transformative than what you can expect. So my dear brothers and sisters, God asks us to be generous so that when you give up something, when you give up something, He will feel that empty space will left of something more valuable. So discover, discover more the deeper connection between your generosity and your faith. Whatever we give from the heart, remember, comes back to us a hundredfold. You know, when you give something from your heart, it will come back a hundredfold. That is why we read in the other book, the other chapter of uh, St. Luke, especially in uh, chapter 6, verse 38 of St. Luke, Jesus tells us this, Give, and it will be given to you, and you will receive in your sack good measure, pressed down, full and running over. For the measure you give will be the measure you receive back. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of creation. 
Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings, which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through the, these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Usana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Usana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the devil, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks broke it. And gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring health to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron Cara, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially. Donald M. Cantana, <laughs> Maria Guadalupe Ramos, Luz, Ernest, and Cynthia Monson, Mariana Ramos, the deceased members of the Kalilao and Balaaldia family, Marcelina Tabalno Bumacod, Antonio El Mondano, all souls, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Bernard, Saint Magdalene of Canossa, and Saint Joseph in Baquita, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be yours to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be in the name of the of the heavenly host, by the power of God, chastity of our Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day to all of you, and keep safe.